Hello everyone and welcome back to another Canva tutorial. My name is Ed and today I'll be showing you how to create quick and easy invoices to send or sell to clients. As a bonus, you'll also learn how to create both digital and printable invoices. Let's jump into Canva and get started. Alrighty, so here we are in Canva. First thing we're going to do is find a suitable invoice template and we're going to do that by heading to the search bar and searching for invoice. A few different invoices there. Let's go for something a bit general and build out from there. So just as a prelude to this tutorial, I've actually developed this little design over here which contains our business logo, which we'll be using for the example business in our tutorial today. Put a phone number there, a fake one, don't try calling it. Uh, website, email address, a website that the viewer of the invoice can go to to view their initial quote. Sometimes invoice providers provide this kind of thing. And we've got the address of the business, which is again a fake street. I'm not sure if Photography Street is real, but if it is, I'm sorry to whoever gets people calling or visiting because of this tutorial. I doubt it. And I have an ABN over here as well, which again is fake. But these are pretty much the details we'll be working with during this tutorial. Okay, now back to the template selection screen. The brand's characteristics are simple, professional and accessible, so let's find a template that would be a good fit for that kind of branding. I'm going to quickly go through some of these, taking my time, seeing which one stands out, and I might speed this section up while I just have a look. And I think I've found the template I want to go for. I like this one over here because there isn't too much craziness going on, but it's got enough personality that I think it'll make it sort of stand out and a bit more distinguished compared to most usual basic sort of invoices. I'm just going to name this quickly to Can Camera Invoice Template. Next thing we're going to do is remove this logo over here and add ours in for a variety of different reasons, which I'll explain shortly. But basically, once we've added this, right, once we've added this um, logo in, we now have these sort of colors to work with in our design. So, if I wanted to change this, I would click here and I'd go to document colors, and I would see that that kind of dark navy blue is now available. Uh, that same sort of gray from the lens of the camera there is also available. We've got access to these sort of core brand colors now. So while I'm here, I might as well just change this around. I'm gonna quickly make that this color and then make that one a nice sort of gray. So these two sort of colors are on brand. I then might go into here and change the font to navy and then I can copy this style onto other headings over here and keep that going. Things are coming together quite nicely. I'll leave that there for now. I'm not quite fully done just yet, but I'll come back to that. I'm thinking we keep the invoice number section there, but potentially make this section down here something that isn't quite bold, and we might choose a different font for this. So one of the other fonts belonging to this brand is Aileron Regular, which is there already. Um, so we'll select that, and I will be doing the same for these other fonts over here. Once again, using this copy style selection to help us do that. And here as well, down here. And now we're starting to get it all looking sort of a bit more on brand, aren't we? So as mentioned, we'll keep invoice number over here. This company is operating out of Australia. So we're gonna have a section for the ABN or as it's known in Australia, Australian business number. And we're gonna go to our prepared document over here just to pull those details Yeah, we're gonna whack those in looking good we're also going to add a field for can cameras phone email and postal address and what we might do is we might just lock this section in group these two text boxes together move this a little bit up making sure it's in line with the other text and we're gonna give ourselves some more space here so we're going to move this up a little bit like so and now we've got some more real estate to work with down here but before that i'm just going to move this build to section a bit lower so that now we can kind of add more entries in there and scale this a bit down and moving this down we can probably add a bit probably five more entries over here comfortably uh which is the amount of services that can camera usually builds at a time if we're talking for example sake you might need to make this section larger 
potentially over two pages if your business does longer lists of services rendered, that's your call. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll do an invoice where we have a fair amount of space for us to add services rendered, maybe up to 10 here. Um, anything else will require, as mentioned, a larger invoice. So we're gonna quickly change the name of these services just to some placeholder service names. And I might just backspace all of this. Service two, service three. And again, we're just changing this text here to something a little bit more neutral so you can sort of act as a placeholder in a sense. Uh, once again, I'm going to change this to zero over here too, and down here. And I'll speed this section up. I'm going to do the same over here too. Cool. So as mentioned, we wanted to add some fields for Can Camera's phone, an email, and then postal address. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this website for now, circle back to that if we want to add our website in. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is in line with that text sort of above at the very top there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this phone. And I'm going to get our phone number in here and paste that straight in. And I'm going to do the same for our email address and postal address. And this is looking great. One last thing. So we're going to change this build to section over here to point of contact, POC. And we're going to change this to just a placeholder number once more. And put a placeholder email there too. And now this is looking like an almost finished product. As it stands, this invoice is ready to be printed and given to a client. If you'd like to make this invoice suitable for digital use, we can add links to certain parts of this design so that the viewer is able to interact with the invoice in certain different ways. When a Canva design is saved and sent as a PDF, links in your design are clickable. So let's add some links to this design. But first, let's review what we can add links to to start with. So first, we can quite easily add the email address to this email address text here. This is a no-brainer. We can just copy this email text, head up to the link option up here, add that link in, and now this is clickable. Same with the phone number. If this person is viewing this design on their mobile or have some sort of like a WhatsApp or Skype plugin on their mobile device or laptop or computer, they can click that and go straight to their default calling device on their mobile or other computer device. Next, we can add Can Camera's website to this logo over here. This is pretty much selected as a group, so any kind of click that happens in this region here will send them to the website. And that website was simply www.cancamera.com that's an easy one there next we can add some call to actions down below one being to view the initial quote so a lot of invoices include a little kind of section that says view your initial quote just so you can kind of verify you're paying what you agreed to pay with this vendor um, and you can kind of view the sort of match up that the prices you're promised at the start are the prices you're paying now. So what we can do is again, we can kind of go to this placeholder design we have over here, get this sort of quote link over here, and we can add it as a link to this text over here. And now when the viewer or recipient of this invoice clicks that, they're able to view the quote that they received before the services were filled. And lastly, we can add a Google Maps link to the address over here. So that again, if anybody is viewing this on mobile, or I guess some computer devices, they can click the link and be taken straight to Google Maps directly. So funnily enough, our address over here has the link already embedded into it. It's a Google Maps shortcut. So we're just gonna copy and paste that. It should already be in our design. Might just be a matter of underlining that text. It should be there already, yep, it is. So we're just gonna re-underline that, like so. And now we have a invoice that is ready to go. You can change any of these fields to what you prefer. So you can change item to description, you can change an arrangement fee to a booking fee. You can basically change this to include fields that are the most relevant to your business. And we're all finished. Here is the finished product, an invoice that can be used both digitally and printed. Did you like this tutorial? If so, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear it in the comments below. Catch you in the next tutorial. Ed signing off.